In this tutorial, I will illustrate how to draw a ribbon over some logo text in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. And I'll true it up just a little bit here. Just make this 700 pixels long by about 80 pixels high. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, duplicate this and I'll move this up. I'll take our first one here, we'll convert this to a path and I'm going to select both our outside nodes, add a node in between. I'll do that to the top. There we go. I'll make sure that these uh, middle nodes our curves. Now I'm going to go ahead and push up on these so I can get a curvature. Go one more step here. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take this and slide it in. I'll zoom in on this and I'm going to draw a triangle with our bezier tool. I want to make sure I got my snaps here so I'm going to move this and move it back to the corner. Looks pretty good. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay. I'll select both of these shapes, do a difference. That gives us a, a shape like this. And we'll move this a little closer here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on this edge. I'm going to select this shape again. Select just these outside nodes. Add a node in between. I'm going to go ahead and snap this onto our first part of our ribbon. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. There we go. I'll take this edge right here. I'm going to move it in. There we go. All right. Next, I'm going to draw a rectangle. And we'll change the color of this rectangle to dark here. And we'll push this to the back. Okay. Zoom out here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Well, actually, I'll duplicate both of these things. I'll group them together first. Duplicate. Move it to the other side, and I'll mirror this. Okay, now we'll take this and ungroup it. Take our rectangle, push it back, and I'll zoom in on this edge over here. There we go. We'll take this and ungroup it. Move this shape to the back. Okay, and we're getting close. Now what I'm going to do is add a stroke to our ribbon. I think I'll add a light gray. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, add some text. So I'll type out some text here. And I'll pick something a little smaller. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'll do is uh, Select both of these items, and we're going to put our text on a path. 
like so. I'm going to pick our align tool, center that up. Let's try it again here. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to fix this text just a little bit because it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it. So we'll just give it a, a twist here. There we go. And I'll make that text a light gray. And we'll push it up just a little bit. Okay, now zoom back out. And I'll take this and duplicate this. Move it down. Get rid of our text. I'll take all this and we will do a union. I'll make it black and I'll make the stroke black. We'll give this a blur effect of 2. I'll push it to the back. That'll give us just a little bit of a shadow. It looks pretty good. I'll take this whole thing and I'll combine this together. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is take our Bezier tool and draw a shape about like so. Okay, there we go. Now, let me fix this a little bit. True this up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Next thing we'll do is we'll add some more text. I'll just use my initials. Go to the text tool. We'll pick out something that looks kind of halfway fruity. Okay, I'll make this just a little bit bigger. All right, now I'm going to select my Bezier path, my text. Actually, I'm going to take my text and uh, convert it to a path first. Okay, now we'll select our text. I'll go to Perspective. Okay, we'll delete our Bezier path. And I'll move this to the, to the back. Move this up just a little bit. And we'll move it over. There we go. All right, now I'm going to make the text blue. We'll give it a dark outline for a stroke. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to give this a, a shadow as well. So I'm going to take our text. We'll duplicate this. We'll make it black. We'll make the stroke black. Give it a blur effect of 2. And we'll push it to the back. Okay, and I'll move this just a little bit. There we go. Now, take this, and I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Just kind of center it up with my eye. Okay, now I'll select the whole thing. Group it together. I'll center it up on my page. Okay. I'm going to draw a dark outline here so you can see what we're doing. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. A little bit wider, and we'll remove the stroke. I'll send that to the very back. And there you have it. This is our ribbon over some logo text. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.